Yate Ebene, good morning. Greetings from the great Navajo Nation on this beautiful Thursday morning. KXWR Warrior Radio as we are going worldwide online streaming Facebook as we bring you behind the scene. First of all, I would like to thank our hosts in Wonder Rock of Navajo Arts and Craft Enterprise just recently celebrating 75 years and our staff are representing this morning from Dene College, the marketing department, uh, the communication museum, Miss Dene College, good morning. Miss Central, also Miss Indian, New Mexico also joining us and uh, following our interview we will open up with questions uh, uh, as you will state your name and your question. So we go right into this morning's uh, broadcast here, representing uh, here this morning and uh, her first public radio broadcast, uh, Miss Navajo Nation, uh, representing here from the largest tribe and the Navajo Nation Four Corners, Crystal Little Ben. And we'll open up with an official introduction and uh, we'll lead into our questions. Good morning, Miss Navajo Nation. Oh, good morning. Yes, I've been in the honor for the the Islands on the Ashe Crystal Little Band. You know, share can the chin in the shlet. My dish gives me bushes chin. He put twenty eight that should che out of it. And he ate that should not let ten a cannabis look is as I had cash then the twinness is a easy get not shot. Ado upon a yay not in a shla asian offer. Ado shima a dorky little band would get a ten can ten sadders. I mean. ขณะนั้นจะอยู่ที่ไหนนะคะอีกทีหนึ่งไอ้อาเดนอีกทีหนึ่งนะชาติชมิสอาโดชื่อเจ้าไอ้ทอมส์โลเบนจูเนียร์
if you can elaborate and guide us through uh, the overall uh, competition of uh, Miss Navajo Nation. Eight competitors, all knowledgeable uh, with great skills. And uh, if you can elaborate on uh, the advantage uh, you had to had the outcome of winning. Okay, thank you, Ellie. Um, it was a it was a tough a tough week. Um, a lot of tough questions as well, and um, a lot of it is that you know the girls are really great. They're really knowledgeable and they have a really great academic background, and um, they all did a very great job. And we were all there for each other behind the scenes, and um, it was it was such a it was such a good time for eight ladies to come together and to try to accomplish their goals and to share their goals with each other and at the same time, you know, create a sisterhood and create, you know, something that will last forever for us. And um, during my, during, for me, I, I worked hard and I, you know, I ran two years ago and I, I worked out the kinks and I've, I've, I've bettered myself and I've grown, because of Denai College, I've grown professionally as well. I've grown um, academically and I, I believe that, you know, to be Miss Navajo, you have to have a professional background because you are working for the Navajo Nation and you are meeting um, leaders, you are speaking with leaders and I feel like, you know, that's one of the very important things is that, you know, being fluent not only in Navajo, but also in the English language and being able to talk in public and also be able to answer any questions and to be able to have great communication and public speaking skills. Very well elaborated. You also mentioned from the beginning how the contestants are very knowledgeable and educated going into this competition. And with the butchering contest that was the first uh, opening day, if you can elaborate on uh, finishing third place as a team. Yes, the butchering day was um, actually the hardest day, and after that, it was downhill from there. So we had um, the butchering, and then after that, we had a meat cutting demonstration, also a presentation, and then after that, we had a traditional foods preparation in slash demonstration and also um, presentation as well. And um, they were huge sheep. They're, that was, they were no they joke. Were <laughs> they were no joke, they were huge sheep. And that the butchering that really tests your patience, it really tests my patience and my communication skills, trying to communicate with my partner. And you know, we, we don't know who we're gonna be partnered with until the morning of so at that same time, we don't know how much they have practiced butchering or the knowledge that they have. So we go in not knowing any of that. So that's where our communication skills and, and, and just working together, our teamwork, that's where it comes in. You know, LA, I want to say that uh, I was there at the butchering contest and Pax did a good job. And all the other participants, we, we had royalty there. It was exciting. I mean, the crowd was really into the butchering. But little do people know that you know a lot of the sheep that we uh, we eat is really grass-fed organic foods out there. You don't see grandma shooting up uh, steroids into our sheep out there, do we? <laughs> no, we don't. You know, and it's a lot more healthier than those foods that we get at the supermarket. But the great thing I, I thought that was a, a, a big plus, and I want to say thank you to. Uh, our former uh, Miss Navajo Rhonda Joe, her family, as well as the, uh, the Miss uh, Navajo uh, employees, the team there, for introducing um, you know traditional foods preparation. So, uh, Crystal, tell us a little bit about uh, that that uh, preparation of our traditional food and, and what did you prepare? Uh, so at the Gallup ceremonial parade, we that's where we drew our traditional food. So from there, we that's where we decide um, how to how to prepare it, the stories behind it, and just trying to figure out how to present it to the audience. And I got white cornmeal, and in Navajo it's called kobiotmil. And there's really no English translation with kobiotmil, and so when I think about it, it's like you're putting something in water, like like dumpling. So that's how I took that. It was like dumpling white cornmeal, so that's tobio nil, and my, I'm fortunate that my son knows how to make tobio nil, and 
and that's where she taught me and it was it's a really delicious although it has um, it, you use you utilize the the backbone fat of the sheep but it's really delicious with white cornmeal and it's it you, you eat it with your hands and if you want to add salt you can and it it's it's delicious and I I haven't had anything that good in a while so it's I, I will I will eventually you know um, post a video about how to make uh, my traditional food because I believe that some of the judges didn't really know what what I made and they never had it before so uh, that's one of my my future um, assignments that I want to do is to, to post a video about how to make it that is awesome LA you know uh, maybe the cost country runners are listening today on uh, warrior radio I'm actually experimenting on the blue corn, you know, those little blue corn patties on my long runs. And these are our own phone, our own foods. With the age, not the hindi chi, I tell ya, out of home, you can check it. Adai, adai, lagi, ba, hi, na, jo, e, you get this by ya, tell ya. He must not get she, you know, that with a chian de, you know, that, ah, ado, e, be, you get zero, nasty, you make cut, you make, you make, jo, e, え、あたしね。つい and what a huge treat there for the butchering contest and we know that sheep is life and we take it back in the good old days of uh, our food on the table, uh, back to school, uh, clothing and uh, of course the, the wool that is sold and the baby lambs that are sold in the spring as well. So it's a, a year cycle of uh, sheep is life. Uh, so thank you so much for elaborating on that. And Ms. Navajo Crystal, if you can uh, uh, elaborate on one of the questions that, that was posed on uh, Navajo mining that was brought to your attention. Yes. Um, the way I answered that question um, was only not through what I know about it, but also my own personal experience because um, with Diné College, I did do an internship with the Diné Environmental Institute for a whole summer, and we did visit all of the abandoned mines. We also did radiation um, detection, and we found, you know, it's very high, especially in communities, remote communities as well, that you know that that they only rely on windmills and that's how they feed their livestock and there are a lot there, there's a huge a high detection especially in red mesa there's some in rock pointer some in black mesa and there's you know we visit the 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 land the uranium covered mine in ship rock we also there's some in coming from tuba city you know a lot of our people they pass away from lung cancer, they pass away, and a lot of it is just, it's, it's very common, and we don't know it until, you know, until they pass away, that, you know, it's, it may happen because of, you know, their exposure to that, and based on that, my knowledge on that, that's how I answered that question, and I, and just through my own personal experience of being an intern, and, you know, just, just trying to gain knowledge and some of the things that I would have to do and that's something that I learned through, you know, attending college, you know, attending college, you get to do internships and then that's how you can gain knowledge and that's how you can gain experiences as well. And very well elaborated and uh, being crowned Miss Napa Nation on Saturday night on the fairgrounds of the Napa Nation uh, and uh, the, the last couple days uh, you've been in the office uh, for orientation uh, and so today uh, will be your official day as uh, Miss Navajo Nation being under the Navajo Nation uh, uh, government and uh, the president, vice president's office and uh, resigning there at Diné College under the uh, Navajo Culture Arts Program and uh, the talent 
that you've displayed uh, with the program from Dene College, uh, the skills that you shared in silversmithing, and, and uh, some of the wonderful things that uh, you offered to not just the contestants, to the people, audience from uh, from afar. So if you can elaborate uh, your skills you showcase uh, during your competition of what you've learned from Dene College. Okay. So the first uh, skill, contemporary skill I showcased was um, self-defense. And I learned self-defense through Dene College. They offered their women's self-defense classes to their employees and their staff. And that's where I learned all of the, the moves and that's where I utilized that. And I still think it's very important for not just women but everyone to learn how to defend themselves because, you know, there's... We don't know what's out there, and this is something that makes me feel comfortable walking around, especially I feel like as Miss Navajo, um, future Miss Navajos, they, they should be required to take a self-defense class, you know, just to feel safe and feel comfortable, and they know that, you know, they, they know what to do at least. And, um, and then another one is um, silversmithing. I learned, I learned that through an Culture Arts program. Uh, as a project coordinator, I had to learn how to silversmith because I had nothing, I, I had no knowledge of silversmithing and little did I know I fell in love with silversmithing and that's how I trained myself, that's how I learned, I, I read books and I just started to um, produce work pieces, uh, belts, bracelets, earrings, I did all of that and I love it and that's something that's really, it's really means something to me and I thought you know, showcasing it as a skill, it, it, it brought out, it made me feel happy. So, and the other is, you know, I did singing. I also did constellation. I did summer constellation. And from that, I also um, went to Navajo Nation Museum. They had a constellation series. And I, I made the effort to go over there and learn about that. And um, that's where I utilized. I, I, all of my skills and talent, I, I, they all just, came to me and or I went out and to go learn myself so a lot of this is a lot of it I it means a lot to me so I this is something that I do every day and um, especially with the constellations I'm always asking questions about the constellations and the stories behind it so I thought that's what it was it, I, I just wanted to be myself during the pageant. So. Thank you so much. And of course, uh, learning from Dinner College, the teaching that's been given to you, us, employees, students, we get to go forward and teach that as well. So thank you so much. Uh, now now that being Miss Navajo Nation, I'd ask you earlier on uh, the crown that you're wearing uh, and of all the history of uh, 70 years of uh, former Miss Navajos, now you're part of them. At one point you did mention uh, you weren't planning on running for Miss Navajo again. Two years ago, you came out at first runner-up, so within the last year of thinking about this, uh, what actually made you come forth to compete this year? A lot of it is about of influence of people who I respect and people who I go to as mentors. And uh, when I went to the Navajo Culture Arts Program, one of those people were my boss, and she really encouraged me to do it again, And she told me that, you know, you 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 have all the traits of Miss Navajo, why can't you just do it again? And a lot of that motivation came from her and then, you know, the community and all of that from Round Rock and Tuba City and also Danette College, you know, and family as well. And I just thought, you know, let's do it one, one last time. I'm 25. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to have any other, any other chance after this. And I... I, I don't, I wouldn't have known if I, if I didn't run again. I just thought that maybe, you never know. So I did it and this, and I'm glad I did it. I think you were the most talked about uh, throughout the campus of the college and uh, being with the marketing department and uh, Mr. Ed McCombs and uh, how we shared uh, from the past and uh, we had mentioned, well, she's done it before, she might as well win it this time. <laughs> so a lot of times the Navajo way of what's spoken becomes blessed. So, uh, Oh, I don't know. That is not Sagi, though, in the year. 
הדסות, כי זה יהיה כמו אי צרעות זן הדדי, נא? L.A. ויליאנס בטה, 92.1 KXWR, ווייר רדיו. We are here in Winter Rock, Arizona at uh, Naval Arts and Craft Enterprise here in Winter Rock. And we are here with uh, the newly crowned 2017-2018 uh, Miss Navajo, Crystal Littlebin. And we are very excited. President and I are very excited. I think what we're going to be doing is doing a tour uh, out there to uh, introduce for those that don't know you, uh, but I think everybody knows you now since you're on the front page of the Navajo Times. But uh, you know, some of our grandmas way out in the rural area, all they do is uh, listen to the radio, so they want to see uh, the name to a face, and uh, we'll give them that opportunity to do that. But also, I wanted to say too, I thank you. I know uh, your platform. We're going to talk about your pla platform shortly, but as you know, our office has been really wanting to uh, reinstill hope back into our people. And that's been our message, yeah. Uh, and uh, we want to say uh, thank you to you for uh, being part of the Navajo Times uh, Enterprise Awards. Uh, thank you to you for being part of the Navajo Times and it's great to see uh, what you're doing out there. I mean, suicide prevention is one, but really instilling hope into a nation is something that we're all uh, about with uh, our office, the, the leaders there in Winter Rock that are in budget session today and with yourself, Crystal. And we're looking forward to seeing great things from you. One of the things I said, LA, last time was uh, one year, you can't really do much in a year. I know that you can do a lot, but when it comes to really leaving a lasting impression, we should maybe amend Miss Navajo law and make it two years, you know, <laughs> maybe two year reign, you know, uh, Miss Navajo uh, and even the uh, royalty have a, a longer opportunity to get their platform out and to reinstill uh, some of that past teaching. And that's what I was saying. That's what we long for as young people. We, we want that past teaching because that's who we are as Navajo. And as you all know, listeners out there, Miss Navajo is the bridge between generations. She is a symbol of intergenerational teaching. And Crystal Little Ben, I can see that you're going to do some great, great things in Navajo and Indian country to bridge that gap, to bring our young people and our elders together to say that we need each other, we need the teaching from the past. And guess what? Young people, we have a lot to offer too, right? We have a lot to teach our elders too. So, uh, Mr. Jonathan Atnez and uh, Behind Zigi, a lot of uh, good things into the future, and Miss Napo Nation, a uh, crystal little bit uh, of uh, having the knowledge, the teaching, and setting yourself forward to win the competition and what there is to expect. And uh, so we see that you are pretty much ready to, to, for the year of what should be expected. A lot of good things. And uh, one of the main questions being asked is the beautiful crown you have that was worn by a few other Miss Navajo Nation, Rhonda Joe, uh, Rock Point, Arizona. Thank you for what you've done. And if you can explain to our listening audience and our special guests uh, the meaning of the crown that you're wearing. I see non mission thoughts. If you can elaborate that for us. All right. Um, so. The description of this crown is about five pages long, and it's made by Tommy Lowe. And the gist of the crown that I got was the Navajo Nation, the Navajo Nation seals right here, 
and then these the three gems here represent the uh, the branches so there's the executive the legislative and the judicial and then there's the treaty on the side there's there's a Shiche is over here, a horn toad, and then on the other side there's um, veterans. This, this crown is also dedicated to the veterans, and, um, and then a lot of it is just, it's heavy, it's, it's, it's really heavy, and um, yeah, and then I, there's a co-talker of veterans, yeah, this is a veteran. Yeah, it, this crown has a story, and I, I, I'm trying to read up on the description to where I can tell the story in my own way and how I, and how I think of it in my perspective and how it, it will help me with my reign. Right, that of uh, your crown coming from the left around uh, to the right side, it starts with the Treaty of 1868, and of course, in college, will be celebrating 50 years of uh, history. And the long walk of 1868 will be 150 years. So there are a lot of preparation from the president, vice president's office, and the wonderful things that uh, our vice president, Jonathan Nez, has scheduled. So it's been spoken for. We're planning on a big event from Treaty 1968. Yeah, we're we're looking 1868, at 1868. Sorry, yeah, yeah, 150 years next year, though. That uh, and Crystal, you know, you you uh, represent, you know, that uh, resilience of our people. You know, uh, we we've heard about, you know, the long walk, the tears that were shed, the people we lost. We hear that in storybooks, but we don't really hear about returning home after the treaty signing. That's a celebration, I really think. You know, I know. So, you know, 150 years later, we have a large population of Navajo people. We have a large land base, and we have to celebrate that, I believe. And so what we're going to do next year is we're going to celebrate with the, with the help of our newly crowned uh, Miss Navajo. And we're going to have a lot of uh, opportunities to, to just be thankful of who we are as a people. We're a resilient, strong, overcoming people. That's the message that Crystal is instilling into our young people and our elders not to give up and most importantly not to give up on life that's right uh, thank you so much uh, so uh, thank you so much and uh, any closing remarks and we will open up with questions here. I have one. I am registered with the Round Rock chapter but I was born and raised for a bit in Tuba City, Arizona. So my mother is from Tuba City, and my Masana and my Che, they are from Tuba City. I'm from the Billigodi family in Tuba City. You guys know James Billigodi, that's my uncle. So, and I just would like to clarify that, and you know, I'm registered with Round Rock, and that's what's gonna be, um, that's, what, well, that's how it's gonna be, is that a Ada Kehashende. One other thing to add, uh, your father, you're the proud daughter of your father being a professor and instructor up in a college. Yes, my father is a Navajo language instructor and also a moccasin maker instructor at Dinah College. I grew up thinking that, oh my goodness, I'm going to turn out like one of my parents because um, I have my degree in psychology and my mother's a social worker for the Navajo Nation in Chinle, and my father is a Navajo language instructor, so I was like, 
I want to go into psychology at the same time. I do want to plan my pursue my master's in linguistics and eventually become a Navajo language instructor. <laughs> yeah, we have a great crowd here at the Navajo Arts and Craft Enterprise. We are in Window Rock, Arizona. Lawyer radio listeners, we want to say thank you for listening today. And we are, in a way, introducing our new 2017-2018 uh, Miss Navajo, Crystal Littlebent, to the rest of Navajo Nation. And now you represent not just Round Rock or a Central <laughs> Agency or Tuba, you re represent the most influential tribal niche nation in the world, the great Navajo Nation, Crystal Littlebent. Let's give her a round of applause, those of you that are here today. Of all walks of life, and Miss Navajo Nation 2017-2018, Crystal Little Band, uh, our dignitary guests uh, joining us. We'd like to have an introduction. We'll open up with questions. Let's start with uh, Miss Dene College. Good morning, everybody. My name is Terry Lynette Yazi. I reside in Chinle Harbor. I am originally from Nazlini, Arizona. I am 19 years old. I am the current Miss Dana College 2016-2017. And my question for you, Crystal, is you've held my title before, and I just wanted to know how far you, you see yourself, like how much you've grown. I've grown so much since the since I have been Miss Dinner College because after I graduated from Dinner College I continued on to NAU Northern Arizona University to pursue my bachelor's of arts degree. And there I also ran for Miss Indian NAU as well and I came in as first attendant. So I also had obligations for a whole year there at the same time pursuing my education. And also, when, once I graduated, I started working with Dene College, and since then, you know, I, everything brought me back to Dene College, and that's where I continue to instill my teachings and continue to learn my Navajo culture and language. And I, I think I've grown not just professionally, but personally and spiritually and cult culturally as well. So, and now I'm sitting here as Miss Navajo, and you know. I'm I'm very, you know, I'm very happy and, you know, Thank you for your answer. I plan to run for Miss NAU next year, too. <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you have any questions. 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 I don't know if you uh, good morning, everyone. My name is Shanoa Jones, and I'm the current Miss Indian New Mexico Team 3, and I represent the 24 tribes in New Mexico, which consists of the Pueblo tribes, the Apache, and Hopi tribes in New Mexico. So that's who I represent, and I'm glad to be here on behalf of Crystal as well. And just a quick question for you is, are you still going to be working with the NET colleges? And me being a student there, and I really look up to you, and hoping to see you there more, but are you still working with the college? As as a Miss Navajo Nation, I am employed with the Navajo Nation for a year now. So that means that I cannot work for Dene College and um, not even for the Navajo Cultural Arts Program. You know, it's it's bittersweet. Um, I I can I love I love what I do at Navajo Cultural Arts Program because I work closely with the students. And I get to encourage them, you know, and continue to help them learn their Navajo culture arts. But at the same time, you know, I, I as Miss Navajo, I, I'm very happy and I'm very just in this. So, and I will, you know, if the college is in my plans after my reign because, you know, I, I absolutely love what I do. Absolutely help, love helping people. But, yes. Thank you so much uh, for the questions. and. Uh, any other questions we have uh, in our audience? Uh, I think we pretty much uh, covered uh, what 
who has uh, sent here this morning on behalf of the Navajo Arts and Craft Enterprise. Uh, thank you for hosting our event this morning uh, on our radio station uh, owned and operated by our first tribally owned college, uh, Diné College. Uh, and for the students and our president of Diné College, uh, Dr. Russell had mentioned yesterday how mighty proud he was and a, a great ambassador he will be representing the Navajo Nation and along with that uh, coming from Diné College uh, and uh, a graduate at NAU and uh, what you wonderful things that you've done so a lot of our employees are listening as we speak so thank you so much and uh, we tour the ending of the upcoming parades uh, yet to be seen at the Southwest Fair in Diawakam we have the Northern Shiprock uh, Fair and the Tuba City Western Fair so Looking forward to seeing Miss Navajo Nation. Yeah, let's not forget the uh, New Mexico State Fair. We got to yes, introduce the, her to the uh, to the great folks in New Mexico, and also the Arizona State Fair, which is coming up next month. Right, Indian Days that are really implanted in New Mexico with the Pueblo tribes and Arizona, the uh, tribes that represent the great state of Arizona as well. So we thank each and every one of you who are here with us. And uh, if you're in the area listening uh, on your phone apps or online, uh, we will have a short uh, autograph session by Ms. Navajo. Oh yeah, be the first to get her <laughs> autograph here and come and meet Crystal Littleman here at uh, Navajo Arts and Craft Enterprise here in Winter Rock, Arizona. Thank you for listening, those of you on Warrior Radio 92.1. KXWR, we are here with L.A. Williams, the voice of the Navajo Nation. Oh, you had on behalf of our staff at Diné College, uh, our royalties who are here with us, uh, along with our hosts, uh, Navajo Arts and Crafts, 75 years uh, of uh, their operation by Navajo here in Wonder Rock, Arizona. The President, Vice President's Office, uh, Jonathan Nez, our Vice President, thank you so much for your support. All right, thank you, and let's give one more shout out and claps for our new Miss Navajo, Crystal Logan, here at Miss Wonder Rock. Along with our currently crowned Miss Navajo Nation, uh, Crystal Littlebin, in-studio technician, uh, Mr. Jerry Jim, I'm L.A. Williams. Thank you for joining us right here on Warrior Radio, Dinah College, right here on 92.1.